Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be talking about my most reread books. So I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram if there were any old videos of mine that you wanted me to redo or update. I listed a couple like my most reread books, my autobi authors, my signed book collection, my special editions or like multiple editions of books. I'll probably end up doing some of the ones that I mentioned but a lot of you did ask for my most reread books so I thought I would start with that one and if there is any other old videos of mine that you want me to redo or update please let me know in the comments down below. This particular video I did about four years ago. I'm not gonna link the old video down below just because I don't like watching a lot of my old old videos. It's still up if you want to see it for yourself but I'm not gonna link it down below. I also do have a list on Goodreads for all of my rereads. I will usually put them in that list if I have reread them and I didn't mark them on Goodreads as a reread. Back in the day on Goodreads you couldn't add it as a reread so I would just make this list. I'll link it down below if you want to see all of the books I have reread before. But the ones I'm going to mention today are the ones I have reread more than once. Okay, so let's get into my most reread books. The first one is Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. I have read this for a total of 13 times. I first read this back in 2013 and since then I have read it another 12 times. I really love this book. It is one of my favorite books. It is one of my favorite books by Abby Glines. It's a very fun, insta-love, overdramatic, entertaining book and I really love it. I'm pretty sure in my first most reread books I said that I had read it 13 times and I haven't actually reread it since that video like four years ago so I probably should reread it soon. I mean this book is really really short so I feel like it's a book you read in two hours because it's not even 300 pages. This is definitely like a very quick read. It's why I have read it so many times. I don't think I've read book two or book three as many times. Maybe like a couple less times. I have read the first three books in the Rosemary Beach series more than once obviously but the first one I have reread the most. The next one I have read three times and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This I first read back in 2012 and then I did reread it before the movie was coming out in 2013 and I reread it again in 2014 in preparation for the final book in the series City of Heavenly Fire. This is not my favorite book in the whole series. It's not even my favorite by Cassandra Clare but obviously I had reasons for rereading it for the movie and then uh, for the last book. I realize more and more that I reread books more for like a purpose than actually just wanting to reread something if that makes sense. But yeah I mean I do love this series so it was very fun to reread it and I think that is one of my favorite things though is rereading a whole series before like the last book comes out because then everything is fresh, you remember everything. I really wish I did that more often but sadly I don't. I've also read the rest of the series twice but this one is the only one I have read three times. The next one I have also read three times and that is Legends by Katie Evans. This is one of my favorites. I really really loved it. This is a new adult romance. It's about a boxer and kind of a, I wouldn't say like his enemy but like someone from his enemy's team they like fall in love. I recently talked about this in my romances you probably haven't heard of video. I know Katie Evans is pretty popular but I feel like she doesn't get the love that she deserves and I really love this book. I feel like it's really underrated. Obviously I love it enough to read it three times and hopefully maybe a fourth soon. I have read the entire Gabriel's Inferno series by Sylvain Renard three times. I am not including Gabriel's Promise which is technically the fourth book because I have only read that one once but the initial three books I have read three times. So we have Gabriel's Inferno, Gabriel's Rapture, and then Gabriel's Redemption. I first read this series back in 2014 and then I reread them in 2017 and then I reread them in 2020. The second time I read them it was because it had been so long. I was just really in the mood to read them and I remember having very fond memories of them so I reread it back in 2017 and then obviously I reread the first book 
for the movie in 2020 last year and I couldn't help myself and I had to reread book two and book three. So I ended up rereading all three of these last year and I really love this series. It's one of my favorites. I just think it's so beautiful and I love the characters. This is a very intense yet sweet and romantic story about a professor and his students who fall in love but who also kind of have a past. I really love this series and I have made countless videos about all of these books, specifically the first book and the first movie. The next series I have reread is the After series by Anna Todd. I have read After after we fell and after ever happy two times but i have read after we collided three times i first read this series back in 2015 and then i did read it in 2019 in preparation for the after movie and i did end up rereading the whole series then because i couldn't help myself and it had been so long since i first read them that I kind of forgot a lot so I just ended up rereading the whole series but I did reread After We Collided in preparation for the movie as well so I did end up rereading this one one more time than the rest of the series because the whole series was already fresh in my mind but I was rereading this for the movie just so I could compare and like kind of judge and review and stuff. I really love this series. I think it's very fun and dramatic and over the top and addicting. Like I can't stop myself anytime I pick them up because I just think they're so addicting. There's something about it that I just, I can't stop. And I definitely will end up rereading After We Fell and After Ever Happy when the movies come out. So I will definitely reread these a few more times. I have read Sultry by Lixie Buchanan a total of three times. I first read it in 2014 and then I marked it on Goodreads back in 2017, and I'm pretty sure I have reread it one more time in between all of that. This is one of my favorite books. It's a rock star romance, and it's a brother's best friend romance. I love the characters. It's not really written the best, but it's one of my favorites. I've talked a lot about this recently, so I'm sure you're very tired of me talking about it. But I have also read The Rocker Who Needs Me by Terry Ann Browning a total of three times. I also first read this back in 2014. I was on a huge rock star romance kick back in the day around this time when I read both of these and I really loved them. Again, this one's not written the best. This one is definitely a lot more dramatic and a lot more intense, I would say. I don't know, there was just something about these characters and the world and like the founded family that I really loved. So it's one of my favorites as well. This one, I'm not exactly sure how many times I've read it. I'm pretty sure it's also three times. And that is Until November by Aurora Rose Reynolds. I first read it back in 2014 and this is also one of my favorite books. I also really love the rest of the books in the series, which I also think I have read more than once. I'm pretty sure I've read the rest of the series like twice, but this one, I have vivid memories of at least reading three times. I love how Goodreads finally has like a reread option now because I can't fully remember and like pinpoint exactly when I reread them, but like I know I did. So I'm glad now I can actually like document it. This series is also really short. Like a lot of these are very short and that's why I've been able to reread them because they're short. I can reread them really fast. I think there's definitely a perk to loving short books because you can reread them whenever and probably should do another reread of this one soon too. Another one that I've read three times is Step Brother Dearest by Penelope Ward. This one I also think I have read three times. I for sure know I have read it twice and then I think I did read it recently but I didn't mark it on Goodreads because I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in a wrap-up before. I first read this back in 2014 and I feel like I reread it shortly after and I swear I have reread it in the last like two years. This is actually my favorite by Penelope Ward. I really loved the characters. Again, this one is not written the best. Like I feel like this is definitely like her earlier work. It's not the greatest. It definitely has a bully romance aspect to it. Our male character definitely bullies the female character a lot and obviously they are step siblings. I don't know, there was something about this book that I really loved. I think I just like really loved the characters and like how like forbidden it was, but like also how kind of cheesy and insta-love it is. 
I don't know, I really love it. Another one that is a little bit more of a recent reread for me is A Monster in His Eyes by J.M. Darhauer. This is one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite series ever. I just really, really love it. So I actually first read this in October of 2018, and then I reread it in November of 2018. I could not help myself. I had to like reread it a month later because I was so obsessed with it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I feel like because I didn't know a lot about this, I was very blindsided by things and I kind of wanted to reread it to see if I could figure out stuff and like if I could see it coming and I just was like oblivious the first time. I really love these characters and I love the romance also. It has water damage, but I kind of like that. This is also a dark romance. It's kind of about a... I wouldn't say it's mafia. It's more like a hitman. He works with kind of shady people, and we have a very innocent female character, and it's just... it's a blast. I really love this series, and I just... I really should reread this, and I think I might tonight. <laughs> So those are mainly my most reread books. I do have a lot more books that I have reread, but the ones that I mentioned are definitely the ones that I have read more than twice and that I definitely know that I really love. Let me know what books you have reread and how many times you have reread it or what is your most reread book. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, Follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!